This is the Audio Technica AT2035 and I have been using this since 2017. Napakarami ko nang na-record ng mga songs and covers and mga voiceovers gamit itong condenser microphone na to. And I can say that this is my favorite condenser microphone of all time. Napakarami niyang pros dahil napaka-crisp ng kanyang audio quality but ang pinakamalaking con lang dito sa mic na to is yung price niya. Yes, medyo mahal siya. And if isa kang beginner sa ganitong mundo, no, gusto mong mag-record at gusto mong tahakin ng audio mixing, maaring hindi ito ang microphone para sa'yo. Pero ngayon, I discovered a better microphone when it comes to the price. Hindi nagkakalayo sa quality ng Audio Technica AT2035. And that is, my friends, the CK Mova SXM3 condenser microphone. And I am using it Right now. More of this after the intro. Para mo pro. Hey, what's up, guys? Ronald and Shal and Poe. Maraming maraming salamat po sa pagbabalik nyo dito sa channel ko. As you can see, medyo ibang setup ko ngayon. Medyo podcasting style. Although hindi ako naka-headphones, no? But, iniba ka ang setup ko ngayon dahil ang i-review nating product sa video na ito ay isang condenser microphone. And that condenser microphone is the CK Mova SXM3. You are hearing it right now. Kaya ganito ang setup ko para marinig nyo yung uh, performance ng microphone na ito. Bago tayo magsimula, here's a full disclaimer. CK Mova sent me this microphone for a review video but hindi nila ako binayaran para gawin itong review video na to. I will be totally honest sa lahat ng mga sasabihin ko sa video na ito. And now that we are done with the disclaimer, let's go see what's inside the box. Inside the box, you get the user manual, a 6 meter 3 pin XLR cable, a durable shock mount, and the SXM3 condenser microphone. CK Mova is also kind enough to send me the SPS1 which is a pop filter and the SAS1 which is an adjustable boom arm for your desk para dito sa microphone na to. So those are the things inside the box. The CK Mova SXM3 is a cardioid condenser microphone. Pag-usapan muna natin yung build quality niya. Just like any other uh, condenser microphones, the CK Mova SXM3 is built like a tank. It's built with a metal construction. That's why uh, sobrang astig at sobrang premium ng pakiramdam kapag hawak-hawak mo itong microphone na to. It comes with a custom shock mount that provides superior isolation. So kahit anong galaw mo, hopefully, uh, Okay siya. The CK Mova SXM3 condenser microphone is not a USB microphone. Ginagamitan ito ng XLR cable. So, kailangan mo dito ng uh, audio interface just like right now. Ang setup ko is the CK Mova SXM3. I am using the included XLR cable. It goes through my Scarlett 6i6 uh, audio interface and that interface is connected at the back of my iMac. Hindi siya kagaya ng uh, USB microphones na USB lang ang kailangan mo. This one is a proper condenser microphone. At dahil isa siyang proper condenser microphone, this needs 48 volts, no? Uh, phantom power. So, kailangan niya at talagang dumaan sa isang audio interface. Kailangan ng power supply nitong microphone na to. Pag walang 48 volt phantom power yung inyong audio interface, this won't work. You have to take note of that. Its polar pattern is cardioid, meaning sa harapan lang ng uh, microphone ang uh, sasagapin niya. Yung pagsagap niya ay wala sa mga gilid at sa likod. Although, makaka kasaga pa rin siya, but its uh, priority ay yung nasa harapan niya lang. That's cardioid for you. And as you saw sa unboxing, it comes with a table mount that you can uh, clip on your desk and you can move it around however you want to use it. Kahit nasa ang position ka, very handy itong mount, uh, table mount na ito. But that table mount is uh, sold separately. No? It, yes, it, kasama siya sa in-unbox natin, but that table mount is sold separately. Okay? And uh, CK Mova also sent me a pop shield or a pop filter para sa ating mga plosives. So this is a pop filter there. And since kanina nyo pa naririnig itong CK Mova SXM3, testing naman natin yung kanyang uh, cardioid uh, polar pattern. No? Iikot natin siya para mas marinig natin yung difference or yung sagap niya sa gilid. Okay? Let me just unmount this. So right now, I am in front of the microphone. No? Nasa harapan ako ng microphone. Let me twist this one. 
makakarinig siguro kayo ng mga pops at kung ano-ano. Ito, nasa gilid na ako ng microphone. Ito yung pinakaharap niya. Dito siya nakaharap. Itatalikod ko naman siya sa akin. So right now, nakatalikod yung mic sa akin. This is how it sounds like. Ito yung mga nasasagap niya pag nakatalikod yung microphone sa'yo. Okay, iikot ko ulit ng isa pa. Now the mic is facing right there. And nasa gilid yung aking bibig. Nasa gilid ng mic. So this is how it sounds like. Ngayon, babalik naman ako sa harapan. There you go. Now we are back facing the microphone. And nga pala, it's also good to mention no, kung paano nyo naririnig to ngayon. The CK Mova SXM3 is connected to my iMac using the Scarlett 6i6 uh, audio interface and I am recording this audio you are hearing through Logic Pro X and I will then sync it sa post. But if you just wanna hear a different mic no, rather than this one, I am also recording with a Deity V mic D3 Pro. This is how it sounds like, no? Ito yung D8 mic. And now I am switching to the CK Mova SXM3. Since uh, the CK Mova SXM3 is using an XLR cable, you will then need a field recorder or a mixer para lang maipasok yung audio ng uh, microphone if ever you are going to use it with a mirrorless camera like this one. Pero sa kasong ito, I will be just syncing the audio from the DAT V Mic D3 Pro and the audio that is being recorded to my Logic Pro X right here. Now let's do another test. Let's remove the uh, pop filter. Let's do the plosive test. Plosives and yung mga letrang P, letrang B. Okay, right now I am not using a pop shield. Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled peppers, Where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Sana hindi ganun ka awkward yung plosives ko. No? So we are not using any uh, pop filters right now. But let me put it back and uh, say that again. Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Obviously, mas maganda with the... Uh, pop shield. So right now, let's do naman the proximity test. No? Uh, nalapit ako ng sobra sa microphone without the pop filter. Uh, I'm not really sure how this sounds like dahil wala akong headphones. Let me use my headphone. This is a proximity test of the CK Mova SXM3. Halos halikan ko na itong uh, microphone na to without the pop shield, of course. 10 inches away from the microphone. This is a proximity test. I'm using the CK Mova SXM3 condenser microphone without the pop shield. I might go out of focus. Okay, guys, sorry. So this is a meter away from the microphone. This is a proximity test of the CK Mova SXM3 condenser microphone. Now, let me do the noise floor test. No? Let me do the noise floor face. Para lang marinig nyo kung ano yung sagap niya in a non-treated room. Hindi, hindi to na-treat. No? Meron lang akong carpet and meron ako sofa sa likod. I'll just do the noise floor face. Now, let me do the shock mount test. Uh, Galaw-galawin ko lang yung microphone. Tingnan natin kung okay yung shock mount niya, no? Uh, Galaw-galawin ko lang. I am now moving the CK Mova SXM3 condenser microphone. I am now testing the shock mount. Kung maayos ang kanyang shock mount, I am now testing that. This is a shock mount test. Let me vibrate or shake it a little bit. Maybe uh, there. And that has been the shock mount test. And now that we are done with the tests, na medyo experimental actually, let me compare this mic sa aking Audio Technica AT2035. Again, the Audio Technica AT2035 is a lot more expensive than the CK Mova SXM3. We have to take note of that. As you can see, mas mahal talaga si Audio Technica. Dahil una, matagal na si Audio Technica sa, sa industry. And uh, this is really uh, one of the microphones na ginagamit sa mga recording studios. Si CK Mova bagong dating lang. But I can definitely say na this one is performing more than I expected it to uh, perform. Let me compare this one sa ating CK Mova without tweaking some of the settings sa aking Logic Pro X and sa aking audio interface. No? Right now, sa aking audio interface, interface alas G's sa aking gain knob and uh, let me switch the microphone from uh, the SXM3 to the Audio Technica AT2035 give me a sec okay right now I switched my microphone I am now using the Audio Technica AT2035 
Tell me how it sounds like. Hindi wala akong ginalaw sa aking audio interface. Alas gis pa rin sa aking audio gain. I am also using CK Movas XLR microphone cable. And uh, again, this is the Audio Technica 802035. As I can see pa lang no, sa audio waves na nakikita ko dito sa uh, Logic Pro X, parang mas uh, mababa yung levels ng uh, gain nitong Audio Technica 802035. Kasi mas maliit yung audio waves na nakikita ko sa Logic Pro X. So sa madaling salita, mas hot or mas mataas yung input gain na meron dito sa ating CK Mova SXM3 compared sa ating Audio Technica AT2035. Dito pa lang, no? hindi ko pa narinig yung difference dahil hindi ko pa na-edit to. But as I can see here, mas maliit yung waveforms ni Audio Technica AT2035 kaysa kay CK Mova SXM3. Siguro ang kailangan kong gawin is to pump up the volume para pumantay sa CK Mova SXM3 yung audio levels nitong uh, Audio Technica AT2035. So right now I am doing that. Ipinapantay ko yung aking audio levels sa audio levels ng CK Mova SXM3 condenser microphone. So ngayon na narinig niyo na si uh, Audio Technica AT2035, let me switch back to the CK Mova SXM3 condenser mic dahil yun ang nire-review natin at hindi ito yung Audio Technica. <laughs> So right after we compared the CK Mova SXM3 sa ating Audio Technica 802035, let me perform another test, no? Kasi feeling ko kaya kabibili na tong microphone na to, not just because of a setup like this, no? Hindi ka naman hindi naman lahat ng bibili na microphone na to ay gusto mag-podcast or mag-record ng bosses lang, no? Bibili ka ng mic na to kasi feeling ko gusto mo rin siyang gamitin as a microphone for your instruments. I have an acoustic guitar here, so let's do the guitar test. Tapos na natin siyang gamitin sa gitara. Let me uh, record uh, my vocals doon sa kantang nirecord ko with the guitar. No? Siyempre, gagamitin nyo rin to kasi uh, sa ganong uh, scenario. Eh. I'm doing this to test it out so you won't have to para malaman nyo na yung uh, magiging resulta. Okay. Puno ang langit ng bituin At kay lamig pa ng angin Sa iyong tingin ako'y nababaliw Giliw at sa awitin kong ito Sana'y maibigan mo Ibubuhos ko ang buong puso ko Sa isang munting harana para sa'yo So ngayon na narinig nyo na yung aking mga tests and uh, nabanggit ko na rin yung mga features nitong CK Mova SXM3 condenser microphone Here are my final thoughts about this condenser microphone And let's start with the things I like Number one, ang pinaka nagustuhan ko dito sa microphone na to is yung build quality niya All metal body and robust kasi yung pagkakagawa sa kanya I have never seen a microphone na ganito yung build quality and ganun yung price niya So parang magugulat ka kasi since mura siya Hindi mo i-expect na ganito ka-premium yung itsura niya or yung build quality niya so number one is build quality I like the build quality second thing that I like is yung uh, sound quality no? again because of its price you will not expect it to sound like this this is the raw audio ay wala akong ginawa sa kanya nga sa Logic Pro X as in ito yung raw audio niya and I'm liking it so far yun yung uh, nagustuhan ko sa kanya uh, hindi siya ganun ka flat and hindi rin siya ma bass and hindi rin siya ma treble just, just right actually kahit raw audio lang and uh, you are if you are going to do a podcast okay na okay na yung raw audio niya halos wala ka nang gagawin konting compression na lang the third thing that I like the most dito sa microphone na to is of course its affordability sobrang mura nitong uh, CK Mova SXM3 so flash ko na lang dyan sa screen sobrang mura nito compared sa aking Audio Technica 802035 yes I expect this to sound good kasi mahal siya pero this one sa mura niya hindi ko inexpect na magiging ganito ang quality niya uh, you are getting more 
before dun sa binayaran mo. Sobrang tiba-tiba ka dito sa SXM3. As in, sobrang ganda ng quality niya for the price. The only thing that I don't like about this microphone is the fact that sobrang hot ng signal niya. Sobrang taas ng gain input niya. Gaya nga nung sa test nating ginawa kanina, compared sa ating Audio Technica 802035, mas hot yung audio waves or yung audio signals na nire-record nitong uh, SXM3. That is a con dahil kadalasan yung mga ganong klaseng microphone yung sa sobrang hot ng audio levels na binibigay niya, mahirap siyang kontrolin using your audio interface. Minsan, kahit naka-zero ka na sa audio interface mo, yung gain na input level mo sa audio interface mo, malakas pa rin yung nasasagap na audio na galing dito sa microphone na yun. Not unlike sa audio technica, kung zero na yung audio gain mo, as in zero na rin lahat, wala na siyang naririnig or wala na siyang record And I have tested that as well with this one. Kahit naka-zero na yung audio gain ko, meron pa rin sound na naririnig ito. May nare-record pa rin. So, yun lang naman ang medyo drawback para sa akin. But, it's not a deal breaker. Masasabi ko rin na yun ay magiging uh, selling point din para sa ibang podcasters. Why? Kasi may mga audio interface na mahina naman yung kanilang gain input level. Kung baga, naka na, nakatodo na yung input level nila, may mga microphones na sobrang hina. So, this is advisable sa mga nagsisimula pa lang kasi usually pag nagsisimula pa lang hindi pa ganun ka high end yung mga audio interface na gamit and uh, because of that limited lang yung audio gain nyo this is okay no kung gagamitin mo siya sa mga mamumurahing audio interface dahil mas hot nga yung signal niya but in my case since I am using a Scarlett 6i6 this is a rather hot signal for me no? masyado siyang maraming naririnig or masyado siyang hot nga yung signal audio waves na mahirap siyang kontrolin not unlike the AT2035 so Yeah, that's the only thing that I don't like about this mic. Now, para kanino itong microphone na ito? This one is for those aspiring podcasters o yung mga aspiring audio technicians na gusto mag-record ng kanilang mga instrumento or vocals or kanilang voiceover. Since mura siya at maganda yung audio quality niya, I can say that this is a bang for the buck. Lagi kong sinasabi sa mga review videos ko. Bakit? Kasi mura siya. It has a great audio quality. It's built really well. Papalitan niya muna si Audio Technica for now. No? Ito muna yung mag stay dito sa aking desk for my uh, voice over recordings kasi I guess this is enough no para sa aking need for now that's the beauty of this product no mura siya and uh, makakasabay siya sa mga mamahaling microphone so I definitely uh, recommend you getting one now the CK Mova SXM3 condenser microphone Now that has been my review of the CK Mova SXM3 condenser microphone. If plano mong mag-podcast, if plano mong mag-record ng kung ano mang instrumento at vocals at voiceovers, get this one now. But, gaya nga na sabi ko, kailangan meron kang audio interface. This is not a USB microphone, okay? If you want to know more about this product, check out the links below. Again, I would like to thank CK Mova for sending this one here in the attic. Now, if this video helped you, pwede bang pa-subscribe naman. I-click mo lang yan. Yan, 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 yan. Yan. Pati yung bell notification para ma-notify ka every time na may bago akong video. So once again, this has been Rhino Denshal. Thank you so much for being here and see you in the next video.